Now, the group Black Lives Matter is rallying against the decision of an Ohio grand jury not to indict two Cleveland police officers in the death of 12 year old Tamir Rice. Not on your side, reporter Evan Millward just spoke with organizers and he joins us live now with the group's message. Evan? Well, Julie, that group's been meeting here at Finley Playground for about an hour now in a circle on a basketball court calling for solidarity with the black community in Cleveland after the grand jury declined to indict an officer in Tamir Rice's death just yesterday. They are a matter of minutes away now from marching from here a few blocks over to police headquarters where they have a list of demands for Cincinnati police leadership. Black matter here. I don't want to say words don't express. Um, it's damn frustrating. It's a condemnation of the system in which we live. You can walk through the streets and you can hear stories from almost, uh, almost when I talk to anybody, they can tell me a story. Standing in a circle, black and white, united in anger. I live in a country that's so barbaric that a 12 year old could be murdered and uh, it could be blamed on him and the cop could walk free. The location of this rally, no accident. A playground right in the middle of Over the Rhine. 12 year old Tamir Rice was shot by police on a playground in Cleveland last year. Just yesterday, a grand jury decided not to indict Officer Timothy Lohman. Some part of us really believes that maybe there's some grain of justice that might be rattling around in the court system. And once again, it's proven that there is none. Also, not an accident, Black Lives Matter Cincinnati asking for toy donations tonight. This is. These are things that he'll never have to play with. These are things that his family will never be able to bestow upon him. A physical show of support for Black Lives Matter and for Tamir Rice's family. And so that list of demands I was told by organizers a matter of minutes ago includes here locally firing, jailing, prosecuting officers who shoot and ending paid time off or ending uh, paid suspensions for officers while they're under investigation. On a broader level, this group is calling for the job of prosecutor, Cuyahoga County prosecutor, Tim McGinty, who was in charge of the Tamir Rice case. Again, that march expected to start in just a matter of minutes. We're live here in Over the Rhine. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.